Welcome back to another installment of Empty the Benches NFL Rapid Rundown. Our picks for Week 16. So we've got football. So let's go through the game, shall we? Yeah. So let's take a look at Week One. If we can have our uh, game put up there, that is the Niners at the Titans, and so, the and the Niners are a three and a half point favorite. So this is taking into account all the COVID positives. And uh, the injuries. So, so you know what? At this point, I got to take the money. Yeah, I, I would take the money. Ooh, I mean, I would probably take the money, but it's such a weird game because, again, the Titans don't have. Um, I, I always forget his name. The running back, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. I don't know why I keep forgetting. He, sh if he wasn't hurt, he would have been the MVP this year, probably. And, and Ryan Tannehill is starting to come back to earth, like his Miami Dolphins days, a little bit. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take the money on this one. And actually, let me just uh, get Tom's pick. His pick was the Titans. So we're all, oh, he's taking the Titans. Yes, he's going upset city. So you know what we're going to do? Yeah, put that in. We're going to we're gonna do, yeah, we're going to do upset city. Well, he is. He's going to do upset city. We're going to take the money. All right. Yeah, we're taking the money. Moving on to week no. two. Uh, week two. Game two. Uh, Colts at the Cardinals. Oh, excuse me. Browns at the Packers. Browns at the Packers. I can't read so, right now. Don't mind we've got, me. We've got the Packers by seven. Uh, so, you know what? I'm also going to take the money here because, really, Baker ba Baker's still in COVID protocol. So, yeah, they don't have a chance. Yeah, this is one of those games where, like you said, Baker's in COVID protocol. Case Keenum is in COVID protocol. I never thought I'd have to hear that name again to be a backup quarterback. <laughs> but, so I don't know whether they're actually going to get Tim Couch out there as quarterback for the Browns this weekend or who it is, but but still, take the money. Why don't we just get Michael Vick at this point? <laughs> so all three of us are taking the money. Tom, yeah, Tom, we're, Tom, yeah, we're all Tom taking the money Packers. at this point. All right, now we can go to the game that I was about to say. Colts at the Cardinals. Cardinals are a one-point favorite. Interesting. One point. That's it. That's it. <laughs> no, that's not really. That's not really faith in them. I, I would say go with the Cardinals, but I would not take that line. I don't. I don't think it's going to be just one point. I think the Colts. Well, let's look at something here. The Colts just came off a high, beating and, the Patriots. Yeah, and yes, and they and the Cardinals are coming off a loss to the Lions, but two completely know, different teams. Two, yeah, two completely different teams. The Cardinals are at a different place than the Colts are, and the Cardinals are objectively the better team. So I'm going to take the Cardinals, but I'm not taking that line. I think this is interesting because, like I said, the Colts are coming off a high. They are probably going in with the most momentum coming into the end of the year. They're probably going to be the most prepared. Who would have thought Carson Wentz leading a team was actually not awful? I mean, you have Jonathan Taylor, who's probably the top running back now. Over If Derrick Henry wasn't hurt, Jonathan Taylor is number one. So Tom's taking the Cardinals. So I guess we're all we're all going Cardinals. I think we're going Cardinals. It's, it's close because again, DeAndre Hopkins out for the year, major injury. But but we've seen with uh, Kyler and DeAndre out, they still win games. So I think it's going to be close. I th I think it's actually going to be a pick'em game. So I think they'll win according to the spread, but I think it's going to be close. So all right. So now from a good game. To crap. So Lions at the Falcons. So pick your poison here, folks. So I guess I got to go with the money because, I mean, yeah, you beat the Cardinals, but can you do it again? Well, let's put it this way. This game is terrible in every way, shape, yeah, or form. This is this, just... This is just Matty Ice Matty Ice and Jared Goff. Who yeah, saw yeah. that? On, wait a minute. Who saw that on their scorecard for a matchup this year? Look, it's just, you know what? Eat your leftovers, eat your Christmas leftovers, finish finish opening up presents, do anything else but watch this game. So you know what we'll do? I'll take the I'll say go with the, take the money so you don't have to watch this game. Well, do you see any possible momentum for winning a game or no for the Lions? Hell no. No? No. You don't, you don't think so? No. I mean, it's a good win though. You have to you have to agrees with me. He's you have to, the no, wait a minute. I think the Falcons are going to win. I'm just making a point that it's a good win against the Cardinals. It's hard. It's a difficult win. They're the best team in the NFL. No one likes a Mary Contrary, Nick. Oh, you know what? 
Oh, good. So the next game on the list, because everyone wants to punch me while I'm down as I wear my Jets shirt. Actually, you know, the words the words are spelled wrong. It should be J-E-S-D. Just, just, just. But still, it's the Jaguars, so I have to go with the J-E-S-T. Just, just, just. Wow, you're going with the Jets? And so is Tom. In fact, he wrote J-O-K-E. Joke, joke, joke. You know what's so great about this matchup? This is the battle of terrible. In every way, shape, and form. And I don't mean physically. I mean also mentally. Actually, actually, oh, actually, oh, we, have, actually we have an update. Well, he's, going with the, he's going with the Jags. Good job, Nick. Good job. Ouch. This is what we get when we're alone and we have to control the ship. <laughs> see, this is, see, this is what happens when you give monkeys loaded weapons. Well, so what I was going to say about this game. So you're dealing with a situation well, literally kicking somebody while they're down, no pun intended. And let's put it this way. No coach. Urban Meyer's now out the door. There's lawyers and all that bullshit going on there. And with the Jets, 18 people on the COVID list. And Robert Sala has tested positive. So it's COVID versus crap. Yes, and you know what? This this should be no surprise to anybody. I'm going with the Jaguars in Upset City. I'm the one who believes in the Jets. Why? No, Why? I, no, Why? I, I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Why? It's just a coin flip anyway, so you know what? I might as well. This is going to end on some kind of butt fumble. Okay, anyway, let's move on to a... I don't know. What do you want to call it? A mess from the other direction. It's a mess from the other direction. It's kind of lopsided, so... Got the Bucks and the Panthers. The Bucks are favored by ten and a half. Considering the the couple last couple weeks that the Bucks have had, I made that line maybe a little too high. Uh, actually, we do need to talk about a certain signing that just happened as well for the Bucks. Yes, Le'Veon Bell signed with the Bucks, and he is apparently going to be active. So, I guess if we could t time travel back to like twenty fifteen. When people gave a shit about Le Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> By the way, you can add that to but Richard Sherman. Can't do that. So yeah. Add that to Richard Sherman, and you would have the best offensive defensive duo from 2015. Yeah, I mean that's, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a hell of an offensive unit in and, 2015. And by the way, I think uh, I'm gonna steal a line from you, Nick. I think Tom Brady's ass is trapped after being shut out at home. I mean, I I could imagine he's gonna come out swinging. So I could yeah. see I could see him throwing like three or four touchdowns in the first quarter. I really so, could. So Tom's picking the Bucks. I'm gonna pick the Bucks, but I'm not picking that line. What do you got? Oh, I, I'm taking that line for sure. So when Tom Brady comes off a, a loss, he's out for blood. And I mean real blood. It's not even going to be a contest. Who's the quarterback for the Panthers at this point? Cam Newton? I I don't I don't even know. I mean, Cam Newton's been good. Don't get me wrong. He's doing what Cam Newton thinks, rushing touchdowns by himself. But where's McCaffrey? I haven't seen him very much. I mean I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, at this point, it's pretty fairly cut and dry. Yeah, take the money. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And now here comes the screaming vengeance to <laughs> make sure that I am kicked in the ribs when I'm nursing a very, very bad <laughs> swift kick to the nuts already. <laughs> so here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Take the money. Wow, that was quick. Really? Yeah. Well, first of all, well, first of all, yes, yes, I'm responding to, to Tom's messages in real time. Yes, I know Jake Fromm, but you know what? I wish I didn't know Jake Fromm. <laughs> That's a great comment, by the way. <laughs> um, but there's COVID protocol in this game too. Uh, yep. Nick Sirianni, the head coach. Nick Sirianni, Nick Sirianni's in COVID protocols. Danny Jones is is being shut down due to a neck injury. Season. I'm drinking heavily, and I'm pretty sure Tom is going to be too. So is, is Saquon somewhere to be found in this equation too? Nope, not in this neck of the woods. I think he went road running instead. <laughs> oh, uh, but the way I look at this line, I'd be surprised. And this might be a shocker to you. I don't. I don't have the Eagles won a game by ten points this year. I don't know. I don't. You know what? There's a first time for everything, isn't there? I don't think the Eagles are that great, to be honest. I mean, they're better than the Giants. I, I mean, yeah, but yes, yes, compared to compared to an ant, 
a spider is bigger. Well, that's like saying the sky is blue, the grass is green, right? And water is wet. But, but still, yeah, this, is, this, is, this is the battle. Wait a minute. This is the battle of terrible. Jalen Hurts and Mike Glennon? Yes, I know. Uh, Jake, uh, yeah, yes. So, you know what? We'll do it. <laughs> yeah, take the money. Uh, actually, excuse me. That's not what I said. They're going to win. The Eagles are going to win. Don't take the money. Because I don't think they're going to win by 10 points. I think this is going to be very ugly. All right. So, well, Chargers and Texans. So, all right. So, you got this my is, guy. This is kind of lopsided, so I'm going to go take the money. You got my guy, Justin Herbert, who I said is going to be top three MVP. And I still think he's going to be top three MVP. Austin Eckler's in, in COVID protocols, I think. That one hurts big time. And they've had some COVID issues out in L.A. Not more with the Rams than the Chargers, but there's been COVID issues out there. The um, quarterback is Davis Mills, for Christ's sake. Sounds like a cereal. <laughs> Ex exactly. Are you going to let cereal boy beat you? I don't think so. Just be careful. It might end up absorbing. Anyway, um, the... Yeah, this is not even a contest. But the but the Texans have surprised me before. They've surprised me before this year. But yeah, take the money. All right, let's talk about the other LA team. Rams at the Vikings. The Rams are a three point favorite. The Rams have had COVID protocol issues up the wazoo. And the Vikings are going to take advantage of that. So I'm going upset city. Wow. And what did Tom do? Because I'm just curious. He picked he the Vikings. He picked the Vikings. The Rams are in massive protocol. I mean, they got uh, Odell Beckham back out of protocol, but they have like 19 or 20 other players in COVID protocol. It's insane. I think Jalen Ramsey was in COVID protocol too. I think so. So you're picking, so you're picking, you're picking the Vikings. I mean, I'm talking myself out of the Rams at this point. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the Vikings as an upset city, but I'm a little shocked. So that's where we'll go there. So Bills at the Patriots. The Patriots are a two and a half point favorite. So, um, I think this is fairly accurate. I would take the money. This is not accurate. What the fuck, Vegas, are you doing? The Bills have been disappointing the last couple weeks in every way, shape, or form. So you'd say the line should be higher? The line should be higher. Absolutely should be higher. The Patriots, first of all, are riding the momentum high right now. In every Except, uh, did they lose? I don't know. They're on a winning streak right now, I think. Yes, but and Mac Jones has looked very good. Very Mac strong Jones, rookie of the year candidate. Mac Jones might be a rookie of the year and a Super Bowl champion all in his first year. Oh, please, don't. Don't do that. How do you think I feel? I'm a Jets fan, for crying out loud. Hey, you know what? I have nothing to fear from the Pats. I'm a Giants fan. Well, you beat them, so who cares? But we haven't had a winning season in 10 years. How do you How do you think I feel? At least you guys went to Super Bowls. <laughs> but still, we're all taking the Pats. We're taking the money. This is going to be a large line. This is not even accurate. I don't care if it's the Bills. So, so what? We've got the Ravens at the Cincinnati Bengals. Finally! Respect for the Bengals! Finally! Thank you, Vegas! So, I gotta go and say take the money here because, you know, they, they we've counted we've counted out the Bengals multiple times this year, and you know what? I'm making up for it now. I'll give you one. Lamar's not starting. Lamar's not starting, so you know, yes, I know Tom hasn't, but you know what? I have, and now I'm making up for it. <laughs> so Lamar Jackson is not starting so we've got Joe Burrow and the Bengals so I'm taking the money yeah take the money respect 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 okay uh, where are we going here uh, yeah, Bears. Bears and the Seahawks the Bears so Seahawks are a 7 point favorite and it's not even going to be much of a contest it's not either. enough uh, it's not enough yeah that, that line should be a little higher but you know what I'm going to say yeah, I'll take it. I'll take the whole, uh, the Seahawks. All I can say is, all I can say is, the Bears is all I can say. <laughs> They're playing so, like the uh, but take the money. Uh, all oh, right, Broncos at the Raiders. The Raiders are only a one point favorite against the Denver Broncos. And am I read? Yeah, I'm, I'm reading that right, right? Yeah, the Raiders, um, the Raiders have had a couple of good victories this year. I mean, yeah. it, didn't, it didn't count for much in the long run. I mean, they beat the Cowboys on a field goal so, you know on what? Thanksgiving. Yeah. Tom has taken the money, and therefore, I will take the money. This game is kind of like up in the air. The Raiders should win it. They should win it. They're the better team. But that doesn't mean anything in COVID protocol. Yeah, so. yeah coulda, woulda, shoulda. Yeah, take the money. <laughs> 
Uh, all right, Steelers at the Chiefs the now. Chiefs, the Chiefs are a ten point favorite. So is someone drunk in Vegas with this line? Yeah, I, the Chiefs haven't been that good, and they've been been better as of as of. Oh, let's let's clear up one thing. The Steelers have been a joke for for the last five six weeks. Steelers Steelers have been a joke, but you know what? Now they're playing to good competition, so they might actually up their game. Uh, it's so, in Kansas City, and which leads to my next point. Yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna do it this week. So I'm taking the money. I mean, Big Ben and and the Steelers are already playing down to their competition. You really think it's gonna get much better? No. And I think what T.J. Watt isn't he hurt also? Yeah, he's hurt. But I mean, he played. But when he's out, like they're seven and zero with him in the lineup. That's what's so sick about it. Exactly. Um, would I take this line? I probably would actually take this line, but I, that's usually a shocker for me with a double-digit line because the Steelers are a joke. They're horrible. Big Ben is riding the coattails, heading out into the sunset. Well, let me clarify that. He says it's his last season with the Steelers. Rumors and speculation, but we're going. To, we're go, just going to assume that you, this cow is going to be put out to pasture. You know what? Mm, rumor has it. Rumor has it. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so take the money. Take the money. Uh, all right, moving on to Sunday. This is Sunday night football. Sunday night football. Washington football team <laughs> at the Cowboys. Ten and a half point line. There yeah, was. A- I think, yeah, I think we know what we're gonna do. So, uh, three, two, one. Take the, the money. Take, take the, the money. money. I want to say one thing. I want to say one thing. There are two quarterbacks. Heineke and Allen, they had trouble testing out of protocols this past week. So you know what? It's just one. Ju- it's just it, it, it's a cluster, is what it is. I, you know, I'll let you decide what kind of cluster it is. Just say it because it's pretty much what it is at this point. Yeah. Well, let's leave it to the imagination. But yeah, take the money. You mean leave it to the imagination, like the Washington football team? Exactly. Okay. So, uh, Monday night, night football. football this week, we have the Dolphins at the New Orleans Saints. New Orleans Saints are a three-point favorite. So, breaking down what we've got here, I'm surprised that line isn't higher. But, well, Peyton, uh, Peyton was out last week. He tested positive again for COVID. So, all things considered, I think that I, yeah, I think that the Saints are probably going to win this game. This is a weird I game. A higher line, though. This is a weird game because, again, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Tua. Never been a fan of Tua. I think Tua is the most overhyped, overrated quarterback in the NFL. Gee, tell us how you really feel. I mean, I'll give them credit because they were, I think they were like one in six and they got, or one in seven and they got back to seven and seven. So that's, that's an NFL record, by the way. It's never happened before. Yes, it is. So, so you know what? But I'm still taking the money. Tom is taking the money. Yeah, I, I just have no faith in the Dolphins. And that's not me with Jets bias here. But, yeah, take the money. So that'll wrap things up here on our rapid rundown. So, for Nick Morgison. Well, Nick, uh, actually, before we go, let's just make sure we tell everybody. We will be back for our new season of Empty the Bench on the Empty the Bench Podcast Network returning January 8th on Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Don't miss it. There's a lot of news and announcements coming along the way. We have a lot of shows. Make sure to hit and like the subscribe button or else I'm coming to your house and I'm beating you up. And he'll be using my head as a battering ram. So you don't want to call him on this, folks. So, <laughs> for Nick Morgison, I'm Nick Federa. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next week. <laughs>